Welcome to the ninth video in our pre-instructional video series. In this lesson, we're going to look at answer reasonableness. We're going to do it two ways. So the reason for this is that most of you guys, you students out there, will solve a problem and just put down an answer and you won't check your work to make sure it makes sense or if it's reasonable or if you just looked at the problem, saw two numbers and added them together. So we're going to look at two ways to check your work. Let's go to the paper. Okay, so here's our lesson today. We have uh, lesson 2-9, problem solving for reasonableness, and our learning target is a question. It's how do I check my work? And we're going to check our work by using two different methods. One method is estimation, and the other one is related fact. I promise that says fact. The pen bled a little bit. So let's look at this example problem. Let's say that we have uh, 53 marbles, and uh, we're going to give them all away because we're feeling very generous. So what we'll do is we're going to give away, so far we've given away 18 of them. Uh, we started with 53, we're giving away 18, how many do we have left? Simple subtraction problem, right? So let's get through that. Let's, let's solve it and let's see what happens. Okay, and my answer is 35. Now a lot of the times we would just write in our answer, call it done, be moving on. But we're going to check our work because we are responsible third graders and we are using our tools correctly. And one of the tools we're going to use is the related fact, which is back here. Let's talk about what that looks like first. So the related fact is you start with your answer, and then you work the problem backwards to see if you get the first number. So if I think that 53 minus 18 is 35, let's put it 35 here. In this part whole diagram, it says that 18 plus 35 should be 53. So you got to go back and you got to rewrite it. You got to go 35 plus 18. Let's see what that is. So this is 35 plus 10 plus 8. So 35 plus 10 gets me 45. And then 45 plus 8 gets me 53. So I know that that's right because I've done it with a related fact. So now let's go back and check it with estimation. Okay, so let's do this problem now, but let's check it with estimation. We're going to round our number. Uh, we're going to start with 53 again. But this time, instead of taking away 18, we're going to take away 20 because we can count down by 10s pretty quickly. So down by 10 gets you to 43. Down by another 10 gets you to 33. So that's about my estimation. So I've subtracted 20 this time instead. Well, 33 is pretty close to 35, so this is probably right. Um, I'm off by two, that makes sense. So yeah, this is going to work just fine. So those are two examples of how to show your, or check your work. You can use the related fact where you work backwards and do the opposite operation. So in this case, I was subtracting. So to check my work with the related fact, I would add. And then I also rounded 18 to 20 as the second way and then I subtracted 20 from 53, I got 33. So my answer is about 33, so that's pretty close. All right, you have two questions to solve. The first one, well, here's the actual problem. We have 124 minus 36 equals 88. I wanna check my work. I wanna check my work with estimation and then the related fact. So this will be problem one and this will be problem two. Your job is to choose an estimation which of these problems is the best estimated answer. Which one's going to get me the closest? Which one should I use? Which one has the best rounding? Which one's going to get me the best or closest answer? And then over here, which one of these is the correct related fact to check my work for 124 minus 36 being 88? Thanks.